and welcome to Syndor Tutorials. In this video, you'll learn how to configure and utilize revenue recognition in Syndor to recognize Stripe subscriptions and sync them to QuickBooks Online. So, stay tuned. Syndor Revenue Recognition, or Syndor Refrag, is the product of Syndor streamlining revenue recognition for SaaS businesses according to international standards like IC606 or IFRS 15, ensuring gap compliant recognition. It works on top of Syndor Sync, recognizing Stripe subscriptions and syncing them to QuickBooks. Syndor integrates with Stripe, recognizing subscriptions and all associated transactions here in the Subscriptions tab, all while utilizing Stripe as the source of truth. In Stripe, you can see all transactions here under Payments tab. However, only transactions related to subscriptions will be going through revenue recognition. You can find all the transactions that are going to be recognized in the Billing tab, Subscription section here in Stripe. At the same time, in Syndra's Platform Transactions tab, you'll see all Stripe transactions too. The ones going through revenue recognition will be labeled like this. And other Stripe transactions that are not going to be recognized, just payments, payouts, and so on, will be labeled like that. So going back to revenue recognition, only subscriptions and related transactions will be visible here. Whether it's a one-time, monthly or yearly product, Cinder generates a revenue recognition schedule based on your preferences, offering flexible recognition methods. For example, a yearly subscription is recognized across the year based on the number of days, though you may select different recognition methods, so it can work based on just the number of months, or it can be provided in the first and last period, and keeping the numbers in between the same every month just for simplicity. Each subscription has its own recognition schedule, allowing for a precise tracking of revenue recognition. On the schedule, you can unwrap each month's details and see all the subscription-related transactions that happened within this time period. Any modifications to subscriptions, such as voided invoices, upgrades, cancellations, downgrades, and so on, are reflected in the schedule right away. Also, subscription ID at the top is clickable and leads you to the Stripe page with this particular subscription. Once it's synced to QuickBooks, you'll be able to use this ID to find all the transactions related to this subscription in QuickBooks. Transaction timeline displays all Stripe transactions associated with the subscription. Subscription invoices are synced to the deferred revenue account for accurate tracking. Revenue recognition transactions in its turn lists all revenue recognition transactions. At the end of each month, Cinder automatically posts journal entries into QuickBooks, transferring revenue from deferred revenue to income accounts according to the schedule. Journal entries can be customized, so you can have one journal entry for all subscriptions at the end of the month, or you can have one journal entry for each subscription for a better visibility. Mapping plays a crucial role in your revenue recognition process. It aligns stray products and prices with QuickBooks Online products and respective income accounts. This ensures that when journal entries are generated at the end of the month, Cinder accurately allocates the revenue from the deferred revenue account into the selected income accounts. We recommend creating a separate product list for Revrec products in QuickBooks, and it's not necessary to have a separate QuickBooks product for each line here. For simplicity, you can use one product for several or even all lines here. It is important, though, to have this Revrec product set up separately in QuickBooks from your other products, as Revrec products should always be linked to the deferred revenue account. In other words, whatever you select on this mapping, make sure it's attached to deferred revenue account in QuickBooks. And then just select your desired income accounts where revenue should be recognized at month end. For discounts, we advise creating separate products in QuickBooks too. Like in my case, I have a separate product, Revrec Discounts, and it's associated with the deferred revenue account in QuickBooks. Also, we recommend creating a subcategory, Revrec Discounts, under the Discounts given account, like that, so in Cinder you can map discounts to this account. This ensures the accurate tracking of your revenue and discounts in the Profit and Loss report. Let's sync one subscription to see how money is moving in QuickBooks. So I am copying its ID here and open the Platform Transactions tab. Overall, all your transactions will be available here, both Revrec and just Stripe ones. If we search by the subscription ID we copied, all the related transactions come up. So we are syncing this one invoice payment. So I select it, click Actions, Sync. And once it's synced, open the balance sheet and you'll see it on the deferred revenue account in QuickBooks. So we can click on this line and we'll see this invoice we've synced. Here is how it looks in QuickBooks. 
Now, if we sync all the journal entries associated with it, we'll see them both on the balance sheet and profit and loss reports. Firstly, if I run the balance sheet report by totals, I will see that the deferred revenue account's balance is zeroed out. Now, if I run this report by month, I will see how exactly revenue was recognized during this month and how eventually deferred revenue was all recognized to zero. And if I pull up the profit and loss by totals now, I will see exactly the amount that was recognized. If we break it down by months, we will see all the money movement through journal entries. So if I open one of the months, I will see one of the journal entries that move the money from the deferred revenue account to profit and loss. Now let's sync all the transactions from January 2023 till today. So I just select them, click Actions, Sync. And now as they are synced, in order for us to match up the amounts, we can open the Overview section in Cinder, and your deferred revenue and imbalance will be always recognized against your balance sheet in QuickBooks. So I will pull up my balance sheet report by month, and here is what I'll have on the deferred revenue account as a result. And the numbers will be equal to the deferred revenue and imbalance in Cinder's overview. Now your new recognized revenue will be showing your profit and loss revenue month by month. If I pull up my profit and loss report by month, I'll see this amount for that month. And this amount go against my new recognized revenue in overview. In case you want more insights into all the amounts from the overview report, click on the needed amount and here you can always download a detailed byline report in order to reconcile smoothly. Now you know how revenue recognition works in Cinder. Go ahead and check it out to automate your bookkeeping even more. And for any additional help, just apply to us via chat, phone or email, as we're available 24-7. Have a good journey with Cinder!